Shalom Atubo. Just now, today is Friday. And let me tell you something. It's almost Christmas. Praise God. I hope you're ready and I hope you've begun to celebrate already. Listen, don't let anything take that joy of Christmas from you. Now, don't, don't, don't listen to... Listen, you know, it's when people are broke, they begin to tell you all sorts of theories. You know, Christmas is something, something. Hey, we know what we are celebrating. We are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what our definition of Christmas is. Whatever anybody wants to say, so you know, in the Asian day, oh, <laughs> praise God. Now, 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 I'll share something with you from the book of Jude. Now, he said, building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourself in the love of God. Now, look at the next part in that verse 21. He says, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. That's very important. Now, when, when he says something, so when you read words like this, they are doing words. Do you understand? They are action words, words to provoke you to action, words to stir you up to do something. This is not the kind of thing you read and say, blessed be the reading of the word. Amen. No. <laughs> this is the kind of thing you read and say, okay. He, he, he's instructing me to do something. He said I should build myself up. Now that's something go do. And then he says praying in the Holy Ghost. Now that's something to do. Then he says keep yourself in the love of God. That's something to do. Then he says looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. I love this part. Notice he says it's unto eternal life. Now he's not saying they're doing all this and be hoping. I hope when Jesus comes, he will give me eternal life. Oh, I hope when Je no, 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 that's not what he's saying. He's saying every day of your life, you ought to be looking out for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what he's saying. In other words, hey, I know today, where, where is the mercy of Jesus going to come from? You know, I'm believing God for something, for example. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't have money this Christmas. What are you going to do about it? You don't need to do anything extra. All you need to do right now is build yourself. Just put some blocks. Just, just do some growing in the place of praying in the Holy Ghost. And then what happens? Now, why are you not doing now? You, you, listen, Father, I, I know you've made provisions even for this ex mass home and for my family. I know that. And I'm ready to receive it. See, you know, physically I don't see anything coming forth. But, but you know what? I know what to do because I know God has made provision for this already. So I'm just going to build myself up to that place where I can see it. Listen, you can build your life into anything that is good. You can so I begin to pray now. I begin to pray in the Holy Ghost and pray in the Holy Ghost. While I'm praying, how do I know I'm praying in the Holy Ghost? Now, this is something to know. Not just because I'm speaking Robasakala, Braga, Dusib. You can be speaking it all that and nothing comes to you. But how do you know you're praying in the Holy Ghost? While I'm doing Labro Kose, suddenly it will just come into my spirit. Do you remember the Lord is my shepherd? Yay! You, you, you know, it just comes to you. You say, yes! Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so why am I, why am I even wondering? You, you, you continue praying. Suddenly, you, my God shall supply all my needs according to. I'm not saying you carry the scripture. My God shall supply. Oh, ba, 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 ba. Father, I receive this one. That's not what I'm talking about. That's, 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 that, that may not get you anywhere. Please, go. I'm talking to you. When you are praying in the Holy Ghost, then the Holy Ghost, because you are dealing. With, listen, what are you dealing with now? You are dealing with provision. I need provision in my life right now. I need a miracle in my life. So, I begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. While I'm praying in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, first of all, because that's where the building is, He first of all begins to throw words at me. He throw, begins to throw words at me. You see, scriptures will just be coming to me. Things that He had said before in the book, or He, you know, He, he can even remind you of something He told you three years ago, four years ago, five years ago. He said, Didn't I tell you never to worry? See, now, what's going on? He's building you up. Remember what, what, what Paul says, say, I commend you to God and to the word of his which is able to build you up and then do what? Give you an inheritance. Now you are building yourself up through the word of God, through the Holy Ghost. And then as he's doing that, suddenly, suddenly, words are coming to you and you are receiving it. And listen, when you are done, 
know what to do next look out for the mercy of our lord jesus christ now how has that mercy going to come from? do you know the lord can just tell you go visit us and so person or the lord can just tell you call us and so person or go check in that drawer or go do this and then you just call someone and you call the person say hey do you know do you know, do you know you've been on my mind say, so what's happening to say i'm fine you just plan to celebrate christmas so oh, you know what come take a bag of rice oh let me let me send you something for christmas so, whoa now what's that that's the mercy of our lord jesus christ and he said you should be looking out for it every day until eternal life that was your whole life your whole existence you should be looking out for the mercy of our lord jesus christ on a daily basis on an hourly basis see you understand what I mean? listen there must be something to show mercy in your life every time there must be something when you're believing god for something that's how he shows up how does he show true mercy show mercy he just shows up because he loves you he just shows up because you are his see so so you pray like that and suddenly he just tells you go do this thing go take this thing go and what's that mercy and as you obey him you'll see the manifestation of whatever you are looking for praise god listen if you do this this year is going to end right for you because listen you've got to prepare for next day know why the lord have said this to me that next year there's going to be lots of acceleration in your life the kind of acceleration you're going to take next year we'll talk about that praise god have a wonderful weekend and i believe god with you that this is going to be the best christmas ever in the name of the lord jesus christ amen bye bye